can just get so stressed sometimes. I get these little ticks. I sometimes scream for no reason at all, or just want to run, or I just change from extremely happy to extremely sad. And people will just think I'm being, I'm being like this on purpose, and they laugh. Um, I'm 13 years old and I've got a brother and sister. Daisy's 10 and Lenny is 9. And I have a lovely mummy. She's actually called Sharon, but I call her mum. And I've got a dad who's equally as good called Kingy. We have a lot of autistic spectrum in my life. I have Asperger's syndrome, Lenny has classic autism, and Daisy has Kabuki syndrome. What do you think of that one, Daisy? Is that nice for you? You can think of what it is in your mind, but it's almost impossible to put down in words. You'd have to see through the eyes of an autistic child to know exactly what it is. And I can see that, but it's hard to put into words. We're looking at Daisy's uniform so that she can go to high school in one and a half weeks' time. When we're at home, it's, everything's great. It's when we're out and um, you've got to be 100% alert on what they're doing. Because well, they're not aware of any dangers. Um, and just make sure that they're, they're not doing anything they shouldn't be doing, really. For someone like Rose, who's bright and academic and she can learn things very well, it's also important for people to sometimes make allowances for her because um, a socialisation doesn't come as naturally as other people's do. So, you know, she's, she has to learn. She's had to learn things like how far to stand away from someone when you're talking to them. She's had to learn things like to maintain eye contact when people are talking to her. And these things, um, they can be mistaken as rudeness or, you know, naughtiness. Well, Daisy is a lot different. Um, she has Kabuki syndrome and not autism. And that makes her quite small for her age. And her brain is way back in her two-year-olds. So in many ways, she's a two-year-old in a ten-year-old's body. Daisy has some physical differences as well, so I think generally strangers will see her and they will know anyway that she has a learning disability. With um, Lenny, it's a different matter because his features are regular, you know, they just, he looks like any other boy, but he might be acting differently. When I was eight years old, I got diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome by myself. Um, but now I'm going to meet a guy who got diagnosed when he was 40. We got a book called The Little Rain Man, um, which taught adults about autism. But I read the book, and I don't know why, maybe to understand about Lenny Moore or something. But I found a lot of symptoms in there that just described me and I told mum and I went to a diagnosis and <laughs> then and then it turned out I had Asperger's syndrome. So um, are we dealing with it at school okay and yes. everything? It's okay. Well, I, um, I used to get bullied at school a lot when I was when I was your age mm. and um, basically um, people didn't understand um, they didn't understand me, they didn't understand what was going on with me. And uh, basically, um, I didn't like school really. So I didn't have many friends at school. So I found it hard to get on and felt, felt as, as if um, I went, didn't belong on this, on this earth because you just feel as though you're not, you, you think differently and you, you look at things differently. And basically, uh, I found it hard. Are you working now? I've worked at four places in the 22 years, which was, it was hard work, um, not, not being, people understanding me. Um, I'd get on with a job, I'd do a job, and then somebody had 
obviously when I was sweeping up, somebody had had my brush or somebody had do this, that and the other, and basically uh, just make my life hard. My brother sometimes messes up my room and that annoys me because I like my room very neat and but I don't really let my mum tidy my room because sometimes she puts all the things in the wrong places. It's been a really nice experience meeting Tony. He's one of the best people I've ever met and he should be given a really massive award for being Tony. And I've learned a lot of things, a lot of strategies and a lot, a lot of very good thing, things from meeting him. Hey! I think for Asperger's and autism in particular, the more people understand Oi. about the traits, the more likely um, people are to, to get a diagnosis. And once the shame is taken away, then I, I also think people are much likely to, to seek out Oi. a diagnosis so that they can get the help and the advice that they need. A lot of people have learned from Daisy, actually. A lot of people in mainstream school. but. She can't go to um, my school because there's so much moving around and Daisy has difficulty walking. So we're taking her to Oakfield Park and she will enjoy it there, hopefully. Oakfield Park's a school for children with severe and complex learning difficulties. They come when they're 11 and they stay till they're 19. We've probably got probably about a third of them now with a diagnosis of autism. Right. Right. I've said good morning to everybody here. Now we're going to sing hello to everybody in our new class one. Hello, Daisy. But just seeing Daisy there in that environment, it just filled me with excitement for her. The school seems all geared towards you know, independence and her branching out and growing up. And you know, just, I just think she's going to be very happy there. She's enjoyed being in class, exploring the school. She's enjoyed being outside at playtime. Uh, you can tell she's a bit tired now, but she's done really well. Every family's got the challenges, and Daisy and Laddie and are ours. Rose is, Rose is fine, she's, she's happy and outgoing. I mean, I mean, for most Asperger's people, that social skills are, um, are a problem, but with Rose, the social skills are fantastic. Daisy, high five! Well, the fact that we're all disabled and that could make um, make anyone's life really difficult. We are a very happy family. A lot of families like us uh, have very difficult lives, but we just get on with it and our lives are great.